When Ducati launched the Diavel first in 2011, the bike received mixed reactions and that's because Ducati has always been known for his superbikes and the sport nakeds. So the idea of a Pacuzo was slightly alien for a lot of people. But over the last eight years, Ducati has sold over 35,000 units of the Diavel across the world. And it has been a major success and is also one of the highest selling motorcycles for Ducati in India. And now in 2019, there is an all new Diavel that's just getting launched. This is the motorcycle, we are riding it in Spain right now in some beautiful hills. Let's go for a ride. Before that, let's take a look at the styling. The Diavel 1260 continues with the original's fierce, mean streak and it's the kind of design that makes you want to take a second look. It might look a lot like the older bike at first glance, but the changes are significant. The redesigned headlamp unit looks a lot more modern, while turn indicators are taller now and are a distinct design highlight. More importantly, Ducati has repositioned the radiator and moved it to the front of the engine from the sides to reduce the bike's overall width and improve cooling as well. This was achieved by moving the engine further towards the rear of the motorcycle, which has also resulted in better mass centralization. Ducati has also increased the wheelbase, steepened the rake angle and shortened the trail which makes for a tauter and more aggressive stance. In fact, the new Diavel looks sleeker, cleaner and more aerodynamic from the sides now. Ducati has of course retained trademark elements like the dual LED strips for the tail lights and the gorgeous looking single sided swing arm which make for a highly appealing rear end and on the whole, the new Diavel looks a lot more stunning than before. For 2019, the Diavel is now powered by the 1262cc V-twin engine that we have seen previously on the Multistrada. Of course, this engine originally was on Ducati Superbikes and it's got a lot of power, a lot of torque. And the good news is that the torque in nature is so good that you can be smiling inside your helmet given the performance, given how nice the power delivery is. Not very long ago, the idea of a 160 PS Power Cruiser would have sounded ludicrous, but the Diavel 1260 makes you really want one. In fact, if the last generation Diavel was ridiculously quick, this one is only quicker and will have no trouble in putting several sports bikes to shame with its acceleration. The updated electronics make harnessing all that power extremely easy though. Riding modes haven't changed and you still have sport, touring and urban modes as before, but the power delivery in sport mode is so fierce, it's almost impossible to open the throttle fully at any point of time. Touring mode offers the full performance too, but in a softer manner, which makes it easier to put the power down. In fact, I can imagine using sport mode only for full bore launches for quarter mile drag runs. And speaking about full bow launches, the Diavel 1260 has also been equipped with Ducati's launch control system called the Ducati Power Launch Evo, which allows you to launch the bike without scaring yourself despite the engine performance. And as ridiculous as it sounds, the Diavel 1260 is also equipped with Ducati wheelie control now. The S version also gets a bi-directional quick shifter as standard, which not only adds to the bike's exciting feel, but also makes for a more comfortable ride. On the whole, the engine feels smoother, more refined and sounds angrier, but more importantly, it packs in a seriously lethal punch. The Diavel 1260 allowed us to cruise comfortably at speeds well over 120 km per hour and when it comes to riding distances, the improved ergonomics are a big help too. Handling has also improved a lot as the Diavel 1260 feels lighter, nimbler and more agile than its predecessor. It was surprisingly easy to tip into corners, confident when leaned over and quick to accelerate out of bends as well. The specially developed Pirelli tyres also offer lots of grip and in fact, confidence levels afforded by the tyres alone are immense. Despite its size and the huge reserves of power, the Diavel 1260 simply wants you to lean forward, pin the throttle and feel yourself being thrust back on straights or lean into corners like you would on a Ducati. As Ducati says, it is good to be bad. Now the Diavel has been a really important motorcycle for Ducati in India. It's done really well in terms of the sales apart from the Multistrada family and enjoys massive popularity. The new one, well, it just got better. It looks a lot better, it looks sharper. 
ride and handling is sharper, the engine performance is something that is really going to blow the minds away of a lot of people. And if you think that this is a park cruiser and park cruisers don't really handle, you really need to think again because this motorcycle can handle beautifully. Of course, it is a Ducati. And this motorcycle is coming to India next month in August. And when it comes down, we expect it to be priced slightly higher than the current motorcycle, which retails at about 16 lakh rupees ex showroom. But when it does, you will really love this motorcycle, especially for its touring virtues, the performance, the ride and handling, and the comfort.